Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good morning, dear students, and welcome to another lesson for English 102. The uh, unit is um, 10. And of course, we've been doing some practice for the for and against essay. So let's have a look at Uh, no, no, okay, now it's okay. I mm. like <laughs> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good morning, dear students, and welcome to another lesson for English 102. Let's have a look at the objectives for today. So we've done uh, most of the uh, objectives. Learn the core vocabulary items. We've done this. Use the core vocabulary items in context. We've done this as well. Read for words and specific information. We're going to have a look at this. Um, use some linkers correctly. We have done this. Uh, we're going to um, practice some paraphrasing, which is really important when it comes to writing your essay, um, because you don't want to repeat or use the same words that are in the in the question. So this is very useful to avoid plagiarism. And finally, we're going to write a for and against essay. This will be done, inshallah, tomorrow. So the, the main thing was to familiarize you with the layout of the for and against essay, which should consist of a, an, an introduction, and then you've got two paragraphs. Um, the, the first paragraph, oh, sorry, the second paragraph should be about the advantages or the disadvantages, and the second paragraph should be advantages or disadvantages, and finally you will have the uh, conclusion. We've looked at some of the linkers that can help you to develop your sentences. We've looked at although, because, therefore, so, on the other hand, as a result. So these linkers are very useful when it comes to showing the relationship between sentences. So today, inshallah, we're going to um, talk in details about the for and against essay. So what is a for and against essay? It is a type of discursive writing in which you, you discuss 
advantages and disadvantages of a specific topic. You must not include opinion words such as I believe, I think, etc. in the introduction or the main body. You can only use opinion words in the final paragraph where you may state your opinion on the topic. The essay should be written in a formal style. Therefore, you should avoid strong language like I know, I am sure, etc. Short sentences, i.e. contractions, like it is, you write it, it's. So this is the short form of the sentence, it is. So you try to avoid that because this is a formal style. Colloquial, colloquial expressions like, well, you know, these things um, are for informal um, language or idioms, which we try to avoid idioms as much as you can. All right. Um, you can find this type of writing in articles, newspapers, magazines, etc. Therefore, you should include a title for your essay or article. All right, now, this is the structure of the essay. So put the phrases below under the right heading. Which one should be included in the introduction? Which one should be included in the main body? Paragraph one, which should be included in the main body paragraph two or the conclusion three minutes for this activity. On a piece of paper, you can write introduction, main body, main body two and conclusion. All right, let me show you the model answer. So the introduction should have the question paraphrase, right? So we'll come to, um, to the paraphrasing in a minute, inshallah. So the, in the introduction, you should paraphrase the question. For example, for example, so this is an example. They say that, for example, video games are important in our teenagers' life, for example. So this is in the question. This is stated in the question. So you paraphrase the question. You use different words, but you keep the meaning. So, for example, video games play a key role in our youngsters' life. So. The sentence, my sentence, has the same meaning, but it, I'm using different words. We'll come to that, inshallah, later in the lesson. So in the introduction, you paraphrase the question, you introduce the uh, specific um, advantages and disadvantages that will be, be discussed in the main body paragraphs. Main pa body paragraph one, you introduce the advantage, you topic sentence, explain, you give details, you give examples, you use linkers, and you develop your sentences as much as you can. Then main body paragraph two, you introduce the disadvantages 
Of course, you'll have topic sentence, and then again, it's the same scenario. You will have to explain, give details, and of course, you will give examples, etc., etc. The conclusion should be a summary of the main points, and you express your own uh, opinion as well. You give your own opinion. What do you think were the most important important pros and and cons? So this is the structure of the uh, for and against essay. So in the introduction, you have in, in the introductory introductory paragraph, you state the issue and explain that you will show its positive and negative aspects, making a general remark about it without giving your opinion. Main example, many people believe that this essay will consider whether, etc., etc. In this essay, I will discuss if, etc., etc. Number two, you develop the essay by shedding some light on the issue and listing one of its advantages. Write two or three advantages. Of course, you will use linger, linkers, you will give examples. Uh, it is very important too, on the, on the one hand, on the other hand, one advantages, one of the advantages is that, etc., etc. Number three, you write about the disadvantages. Write or a three, a two or three disadvantages. Support your arguments with justifications, examples, use linkers. However, uh, one disadvantage is that the concluding, the conclusion. You end your essay with a summary of the main points and you state your opinion. Of course, you'll use linkers as well uh, to sum up, although I think, I believe that, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so this is an example of a for and against essay. Your job is to reorder the paragraphs of this essay and fill in the blanks with a suitable word to make meaningful collocation. All right. These collocations, of course, they are the uh, a collocation is um, a combination of two words. All right. You will have you will see that there are letters. Forget about the letters. C, D, A, A, B, C, D. Forget about them. You go for the number. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five. All right. So those numbers should be filled with those words. You've got problems, play, consideration, results, negatively, attention. So the first thing you do, you put them in the right order. Which one is number one? So, for example, you say in the chat box, A is number number two, B is number three, C is number four, D is number five. All right, and then you fill in the blanks one to six with these words. So, for example, number one is play, number two is two, number th number three is negatively, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Five minutes for this activity.
we have Turkey. Um, so all right. Now I need you to tell me the correct order of the uh, paragraphs, and you fill in the blanks with the correct word to make meaningful collocations. A collocation is a combination of two words. All right. Of course, you forget about the letters A, B, C, D. You forget about them for now. The, the letters which are in red. Don't do anything with them now. Just go for the numbers from one to six. Fill them with the right word. Put the paragraphs in the right order. That's your job. You got two tasks. One is to put them in the right order. The second one is to fill in the blanks with the correct word to make meaningful collocation. Now, we have Ali Mukhtar. So he says number one is play, number two is negatively, number three is consideration, four is attention, five problems, and six is results. Not go going to say whether your answers are correct or not. Uh, I will ask you to wait and double check later, inshallah. Let's give them time. Let's give the students some time. We've got Jasim Abdul Amir. Um, your response has nothing to do, unfortunately, with the activity at hand. Jasim Abdul Amir, I'm sorry. Uh, Turkey Abdullah, number one is play, number two is negatively, three consideration, four is attention. What about five and six, uh, Turkey Abdullah? Five and six. The ordering should be um, pretty easy. I mean, you are familiar now with the layout and the structure of um, <coughs> the for and against the essay. We have Sofian. Sofian, number one is, number one is D, how come? You write, oh, oh okay, 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 you, you are, you are talking about the, the order of the paragraph. So D is number one. D is, it, it means that this is the first paragraph. All right, thank you. Two is B. So B is two, A is three, C is four. All right, that is good. And then we have five is problems for attention. Six results, one play, two negatively, and three consideration. Thank you, Sufyan. Thank you so much. We have Hussein Fadl, five negatively, four attention, six results, one play, two problems, and three consideration. Hamad Salman Khalil, one is D, two is B, three is A, four is C. All right, double check your answer. All right, I'm going to show you the answers now. So check your answers if you haven't done so. All right, so video games play an important role in our teenagers' life. So as you can see, we've got play, so the collocation is to play an important role. This is very useful. You can use this um, collocation in your um, introduction. This is a very useful uh, collocation to play an important role in or to, to play a key role in or to play a, a great role in. All right, so this is very useful. This is the collocation. Many parents and educators believe that this phenomenon, phenomenon ma'anaha of vahira, of course you can replace it with uh, topic or issue, has affected them negatively. Of course you have effect 
negatively. So, of course, you can write positively. So, affect positively, affect negatively. However, many experts think that video games do have a bright side that we should take into consideration. So, you take into consideration, take into consideration. B is paragraph two. On the other hand, there are some positive things that we should pay attention to. So you pay attention to something or you pay attention to someone. For example, some video games which involve physical interaction can help gamers lose weight and develop quick reflexes. In addition, because most video games are in English, gamers can improve their English language. A is paragraph three. We are talking about the disadvantages. On the other hand, there are some negative things. For example, there are many games nowadays that contain a lot of violence and killing. Yeah. Moreover, staring too much at the TV screen might cause problems. So we have cause problems, you cause problem for the eye. C is paragraph four. In conclusion, I strongly believe that teenagers should play video games that involve solving puzzles or adventures because they are void of violence and blood bloodshed. So here I am expressing my opinion. This will yield, this will yield positive results. So we have yield positive Result. So this is the collocation on the long run. So this is a very short article, a very short for and against essay about the advantages and disadvantages of video games. All right. So these are the collocations that we had in the uh, previous article. So I need you to match the um, the collocations with their meanings. All right. Three minutes for this activity. If you need <coughs> um, to use your um, dictionary, do so. If you don't know the meaning of certain collocations or words. Three minutes for this activity.
OK, we have Ali Mukhtar. He says number one is F. Number two is D. Three is A. Four is B. Five is C and six is E. Check your answers in a minute. Turkey, one is D, two is D. How come Ali is how come Turkey that one is D, two is D as well? I think there is a mistake. I think you made a mistake. Three is A, four is B, five is C, and six is E. Jasim Abdul Amir Mansour. One is D, two is F, three is A. 4 is B, 5 is C, and 6 is E. Thank you, Turkey and Jasim. All right. Let's have a look at the answers. Of course, these collocations, they are general, so you can use them in any, um, in any uh, for and against essay. Um, you can use them to develop your ideas and sentences. So to play, um, OK, let me show you the answers. So to play an important role in, it means D, to be involved in something that is of a great effect. I mean, it's very similar to the Arabic version. Yal abu dawran fi, all right? So this is another way of saying that something is important, right? OK, number two, to affect negatively or positively, it means simply to influence. Number three, to take into consideration is B, to take notice of something or someone. بمعنى يأخذ بعين الاختبار, يأخذ بعين الاعتبار. To take into consideration. Yeah. All right. I think there is a mistake here. Yeah. Number two, number four is to pay attention to is. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, there is a mistake here. Yeah. There is a mistake here. This one is not B. It's it's A. Yeah. Yeah. It's A. All right. So to take into consideration is A to think about something before making a decision. Yeah. So before you do anything, you should take into consideration all the, uh, for example, all the things that you have, you should think about it and then you make an informed decision based on the da data that you have. All right. Pay attention to it is B to take notice of something or someone. Five to cause problems is to make trouble. To yield positive results, it means to give benefits, all right? For example, the online learning um, can yield positive results if we are committed and take it, take it seriously, all right? So it will give you benefits if you are serious about it and you are committed. All right, so this is an example of yield uh, positive result. You can ترجمة بالعربي اللي هي المجازية يعطي ثمار يعطي ثمار. All right. Now this is a national exam question. I need you to take a picture of this because you're going to have a look at the uh, the article again and put those sentences back to where they belong. All right, so these sentences have been removed from the essay. Read the article again and put them where they fit. All right, so this is a national exam question. 
All right. So you've got to look at context. You've got to look at meaning and you've got to look at grammar and vocabulary as well. So grammar, vocabulary, context, these things can help you determine where these uh, sentences can fit. All right, so take a picture. Take a picture of this slide. You've got letters A, B, C, D in red. This is where you should put the sentences back. Take a picture of this slide. All right, OK. Now. Read the article again. You've got A, B, C, and D. So the four, I need you to put the four sentences back to where they belong, all right? Be careful about grammar. Be careful about vocabulary. Be careful about um, context, and you should be able to put the sentences where they belong, all right? Five minutes for this activity.
right we have Turkey Abdullah A is three, B is four, C is two, D is one. Thank you so much, Ali. Sorry, uh, Turkey. Muhammad Jamil, one is D, two is C, three is A, four is B. All right. Ali Hassan Muhammad, A is three, B is four, C is two, D is one. Ali Hassan Muhammad Al Mahari as well. Uh, yep, I mean, it's the same response. All right, let's have a look at the model answer. <clears throat> so, one is D, one is D, two is C, three is A, and four is B. Let's have a look at where they fit in. All right, so A, so we are talking about the benefits of video games in terms of physical uh, interaction and in terms of losing weight. So losing weight is generally considered to be a good thing. So in other words, video games can help gamers have healthy bodies. So you can see, you can, you can see that, you know, the two sentences are linked together. So it's some kind of development of the same idea. B, as a result, so we are talking about English, you know, being, you know, one of the benefits of playing video games because most video games are in English. So you are likely to improve your English because you are exposed to a lot of reading when you play video games. Hopefully, I mean, I know some teenagers, they just skip, 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 skip. They don't read, but you know, it's it's really good to read in video games. That will help you improve your language. So as a result, many teenagers prefer reading in video games to reading in paper book. Yeah, so that's one of the trends that we have uh, these days. All right. Then we have C. We are talking about, you know, video games containing violence and killing and bloodshed and all that. So studies have shown that this can make youngsters hurt others or or really um, commit crimes. I mean, we've we've I think we've discussed this in previous um, lessons. All right, and then you've got comma. You can see that there's a comma after the I. So we are talking about the the damage that can be caused to the eye, making it weak. Of course, it refers to the eye, so making 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 the eye weak. All right. All right, now I need you to take a picture of this as well. Take a picture of this as well. You're going to read the article again. Yeah, so read the article again. Maybe the, this is the third time, maybe I'm not counting <laughs> anyway. So read the article again and fill in the blanks with one word only. Only one word, bear this in mind. You need to fill in the blanks with one word only. All right. So again, this is a national exam question. All right. So number one, the type of people who are greatly interested in playing video games are mostly. You need one word. Number two, some video games can help reduce. One word. Number three, video games are bad because they have. And this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It is possible to learn. If you read in video games, all right, so I need to take a picture, take a picture. Of this slide. All 
And when I take a picture of this slide. So you don't come up with new words. You go back to the article. And look for the specific words. All right, this is a national exam question. All right, hopefully you've you've taken a picture of the slide. Now, <clears throat> oops, all right, looks like I need to go back. So this is the article. All right, and you need to look for the words that you need for the sentences. Again, the sentences have been perfect. They are not the same as the ones in the article. They are different, but they have the same meaning. All right, so five minutes for this activity. All right, we have Ali Mukhtar. He says number one is teenagers. Number one is teenagers. Number two is weight. Number three is violence and bloodshed. Number four is English. Thank you, Ali Mukhtar. Mustafa Ahmed Majdi. Number one is teenagers. Turkey. Number one is teenagers, two violence, three advantage and disadvantages. Four is English. All right, check your answers in a minute. Um, Turkey. All 
All right. Let me show you the answers. <coughs> okay. Now, so number one is teenagers. Number two is weight. So in the in the article, you've got lose weight, but here we have reduce weight. All right. So again, it's paraphrasing. Um, number three, video games are bad because they have bloodshed or killing and violence. Turkey said uh, advantages and disadvantages. Um, but you, you can see that Turkey here, it says bad. They are bad. So if you say advantages, it doesn't make sense, does it? Right? It doesn't make sense. So you can't really have advantages and disadvantages for the, those two blanks, all right? Because the, the word here, bad, the word here, bad, right? So they are bad because there is a lot of killing, a lot of bloodshed, a lot of violence, all right? So this can affect the teen teenagers negatively. All right, number four, it is possible to learn English. Now, if you say to learn a language, this is incorrect because it is two words. A is one word, language is another word. So the only possible answer here is English because it's one word. If you, if you write a language, it's grammatically correct, but unfortunately, based on the question, you should only fill in the blanks with one word and one word only. Thank you so much for um, for participation. Inshallah, tomorrow we're going to have a revision of all the things that we have covered so far. We're going to write the article, um, which is the uh, for and against essay. We're going to give you more practice for the linkers for the collocations as well, and for paraphrasing as well. We haven't done any kind of paraphrasing today. We, we ran out of time, unfortunately. So today, to, tomorrow, inshallah, we will finish that, which is, you know, um, doing practice for paraphrasing. Thank you so much. See you, inshallah, tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.